Hi there, welcome to the EQ Video Library. I'm here with Jess French. Hi Jess. Hey. So tell me, what is it you're doing at the moment? Oh, lots of things. Uh, day to day I work as a vet, um, a small animal vet working with dogs and cats. Um, I also write children's books and I've done a bit of presenting for kids TV as well. Wow, lots of stuff to keep you busy. Yep, I'm very busy. <laughs> Can you tell me what each of them uh, entails? So, being a vet um, is being in a vet practice or a surgery, nine to five, pretty much. Well, actually, it's much longer than that most days. The days are really long. Um, seeing people's sick and, and poorly animals and doing the best I can to help them. Uh, writing books is really exciting. Um, I get to do some imaginative stuff, so some fiction stuff where I get to create my own things. Um, I also write non-fiction books as well, so teaching kids mainly about animals and the natural world. Um, and presenting, I firstly presented something called Mini Beast Adventure with Jess, um, and that's on CBeebies, and I've done various other little bits and bobs as well. Brilliant, brilliant. And tell me a little bit about your career path. Originally, I applied to do English literature at uni. That was what my teachers at school had encouraged me to do. I think I'd done really well in the exams, um, but it, it just didn't ever really feel right. Um, and what I was really passionate about was the natural world and animals and I just loved everything about learning about animals and but I never thought that that could be a career. I thought it was something that I was really interested in um, but that was always going to be a, a sideline. And it wasn't until I'd done all my application that somebody told me, well actually you could just do zoology as a career in itself. And it wasn't until clearing that I got my place at zoology. And what qualifications do you need to be a zoologist? Well, I have a zoology degree, um, but I don't think you actually need a qualification to, to be a good naturalist. You just have to get out there and immerse yourself in the natural world. Brilliant. Uh, and uh, it, you clearly enjoy it a lot. Uh, what do you enjoy most about it? Oh, I guess it's, it's my escape. Um, it's also, it feeds my imagination. So when I'm writing, I use a lot of the things I see in the natural world. I, it just fascinates me. And tell me what makes the job so interesting. Well, every day is completely different. It's different with the weather, it's different with the seasons, it's different with the animals that you're working with. It's a new adventure every day. Um, so just in a little bit more detail, what exactly do you do as a zoologist? Well, zoology is like biology, really, without plants. It's mainly animals and, and it's investigating how the, the natural world works and learning about animals. So how did zoology lead you into TV presenting? I suppose it was my passion. Um, the production company that were looking for somebody to present their new show wanted someone who really cared about and knew about bugs, yeah. and that was me. <laughs> and what were the challenges at first uh, becoming a TV presenter? Well, they always say don't work with kids and animals, don't they? And uh, I did both of those straight away, so that was quite tricky, but fun, very much fun. And if somebody leaving school now wanted to become a zoologist, what would be your advice? Go for it, for a start. Don't be scared because it's not something you hear a lot about. Um, and also make sure you, you go out there and immerse yourself in the, in the natural world because being a zoologist isn't about sitting in a lecture room and, and learning about it that way. It's about going out there and experiencing it because it is an experience. Great. And finally, if you could give your school age self any advice, what would it be? Don't worry. Don't <laughs> worry. Just do what you're interested in and follow your passion and it'll work out. Brilliant. Well, thank you, Jess. Thank you.